Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today, you see this, I have um, some staining on my nails from my last polish I took off. Um, it was the, the glittery blue one from NYC. I don't remember the name. Um, but I took my nail polish off and realized I had some serious staining going on. These two nails over here look just like this about five minutes ago. I do have the yellowing staining normal for keeping nail polish on all the time, but the blue is going to interfere with my next manicure. So, I also today had a request from Lizzie5722, one of my subscribers asked me if I could do an updated nail care, and I thought, well, perfect time, I'll just go ahead and do it all at once. But to get this staining off, I'm going to be using this blue cross cuticle remover and it's in a humongous jug I've had it for about I don't know three or four years and it's when it's laid up straight it's barely down to here I mean it's just this stuff lasts forever of course I don't use it very often so but what I do is I put it into a little I use an old sesh feet bottle because I like just having something smaller to deal with and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the staining removal and I just brush it on just like I would nail polish and let it let it sit for just a little bit you don't want to let it sit long because this is this is some nasty stuff trust me if it's gonna get the look you can tell even we just brushing it on it's starting to already come off now I didn't come up with this I learned this trick from Jessica the polished queen many years ago she was doing a video. Um, her husband was ever so wonderful and let her paint his nails with all the Zoya pixie dust and one of them stained like a bug. And she stopped the video and did a quick one on this. I'm going to use this little tool I got from Sally's. It's a cuticle pusher. I've got one like this and then I also have this bent one. And I, I don't have any rhyme or reason. I use both of them. And you're just going to run run back and forth over it and you see it's just getting it right up this is an amazing trick um, it is kind of hard on your nails I don't use cuticle remover often um, at all so what I do is I just get as much of it as I can off wipe it on the paper towel I also have this other little handy tool and I forgot the name of it a correct but it's got a little tiny end that's got like a little spoon on it and then a bigger spoon on the other end and I just use it to kind of clean that up a little bit and you can use it to go around you know like if you got a little problem side over there so we're just going to continue on and get to this other one and I might have to apply a little more which is okay but I just run back and forth and I know it looks like I'm really applying a lot of pressure but I assure you I am not so then I'm going to go back in with some more of the cuticle remover brush it on I do this one just for safe measure and do that now this is not what this was intended for but you know, hey, if something works, it just works. We don't ask why. We just jump on it and say, awesome, it works. I love it because it works. And I don't know about you, but I personally like things that have more than one use. <laughs> I like multi-tools. I like things like that. So I'm going to go in with my little thing. And I might not get every single bit of it, but I'm not near as smurfed out as I was. So what I'm going to do is wash this off real quick because you do not want to leave it on. Okay, we're going to go back in. I have got my cuticle remover back out and I'm going to put a little bit here on each nail. Now this step I only do once every month or every two months and I'll go into what I do now on a weekly basis. I used to do this every week. Um, but I was having some issues with my nails getting thin and and I, I just I don't know I can't prove that it was the cuticle remover but it might have had something to do with it but I just use my little cupping tool thing here I should have looked up what the name of that was I used to know it but 
um, and I just kind of clean up around the cuticle area trying to get any of that dead skin up and I kind of run it down the sides of each finger and here in a minute I will show you what I, all, I do now on a weekly basis I don't do this every week anymore but I like to keep my cuticles cleaned up and here we go with the last one um, and you can see there's like stuff in there um, and it's kind of gross but you know I'd rather go and get it off in the cleaning process just kind of get it off and um, not have skin growing all down on my fingers and this really isn't too bad because it's been not too long since I've you know, since last week since I did my cuticle work. So I'm going to go wash this off real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Those are all done. And I'm a huge fan of cuticle pins. And a lot of times that's where I end my maintenance. I just stop right there and put on some cuticle oil. But we're going to skip that right now because I wanted to show you what I do now on a weekly basis instead of using the cuticle remover. I have this handy dandy little tool from Germanicure. And it's got a pointy end, kind of hard to see, isn't it? And then it's got kind of like the end like an orange wood stick would have. And um, I use it, and I will show you how I use it. I just go around, and I don't know if you can see that on camera. I'll have to check it out. So I just go around the edges of my cuticles with this kind of kind of like a fingernail file. It's like a pointy file. And I just scrape up as much of that extra dead skin and stuff as I can. And I do that on all of them. And you can use the other little end too to kind of push back your cuticles. Um, I'm not as proficient with that. And I'm using my left hand, which I'm right-handed, so it's, it's a little awkward looking, I'm sure. But I just go around and clean up that cuticle area. I'm going to finish these up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and in this little glass jar I've got some homemade hand scrub and I just pull out a little chunk of it like that and um, maybe a little bit more of a chunk. And this is just made out of um, brown sugar and white sugar and olive oil. There might be some coconut oil in there. I get a little crazy sometimes. But after I'm done kind of cleaning it, I will take this and just rub it in to my fingernails and my cuticles and I'll just rub that in for a minute or two just over how long I feel like doing it longer if I feel like it um, it's gritty it's kind of funky and you can pick up the broke fall down pieces and continue on but this stuff is just amazing I gave it away one year for Christmas I gave everybody jars of homemade fingernail scrub and a lot of people <laughs> said they used theirs on their feet and they loved it. They said their feet had never been that soft. So I just rub this in really good. And then I go to the sink. And then I wash it off with warm water. I just rub it all in and get it in there good. Okay, I'm back. I've used my little scrubby brush, my little nail scrubby brush. brush. I got it from Sally's. Nothing fancy. In fact, mine looks pretty bad, so I didn't want to show you how pitiful it is. But I'm going to use my Germanicure glass nail file. And with these nail files, you can go back and forth just like that. Now, if you want to go just one direction, one direction, that's fine. If that's what you're conditioned to, you can totally do that. I'm a sawer. I like to saw back and forth. I just... I, I don't, I know, I know it's probably not the right thing, but that's, that's just how I do. Um, so I just go back and forth. And with these, these high quality glass files, you can do that. Um, it doesn't cause any splitting or anything like that. So, and I've done a whole video on this dramatic cure file if you'd like to go check it out. But I do that. I do my filing. So I'm going to go step off camera and finish this filing up a little bit, and I'll be back to show you the next step. 
Okay, like I was saying before, I love these little oil pens. I have them in my purse. I have them on my desk. I have them all over the place. But normally when I sit down at my manicure table, I normally reach for this one. It's a little baby bottle of California mango, and I love the way it smells. So let me get this open, and we're just going to apply some of that around and underneath around all the sides and then underneath and I love the smell of this. I also have their um, it's like a it's almost like a Vaseline it's called California Mango Mend and I love it. I put it on a lot of times before bed so I will show that here in just a little bit so, and I just rub that in, making sure I kind of get it all in there. And then I normally go sit and watch TV or YouTube videos or, you know, something like that. And kind of let it soak in really good. And I do always make sure to wash my hands off or at least rinse them off before eating. Because although this smells yummy, it tastes horrible. I have messed up and gotten it in my mouth more than once. And I've got enough from doing this hand that I can just kind of transfer some over to this other hand. So real quick before I let you guys go, I'm going to go get my evening stuff that I do and I'll be right back to show you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I know I keep running off, but I promise I'll come back. Now the first thing I always start off with is Aquaphor. And I don't put this on my whole hand. What I do, and see, of course I live in a house with a dog, because there's dog hair on everything. I normally squeeze out, and of course I would grab the almost empty one. Let me see if I can get some to come out of here, people. Okay. I normally get a little blob like that, and I just dot it on all of my fingers. And I rub it in to all of them. It's nasty, sticky. It's it's quite funky, but it does does so much good that um, it it's worth. You know, I mean, it's definitely more of a Vaseline texture than than any of my hand lotions. Now, just rub that in, and I put that mostly just on the tips, on my fingertips. And it is a gunky mess, I'm not going to lie. But then, this is my favorite thing ever. And it's by J.R. Watkins. It's a hand cream. And this is the um, lemon scent. What do they call it? Lemon cream. It's got shea butter in it. And it is just... Uh, it, it is lemon cream. It says it right there. And it might come in other scents. I don't know. I don't care about other scents. I like the lemon. So I'll put a glob like that in my hand. And then I do my hands around. And I mean, it turns into a messy mess. But it's a weird combo. By doing the other stuff on my tips and then rubbing this in, by the time I'm done rubbing this in, nothing's greasy anymore. And I love that. It's just, it's, it's really good stuff. Now, sometimes <laughs> I'm not patient enough to keep rubbing it in and I'm just done. I'm just ready to go to bed. I'm tired. I've had enough. And my husband gave me these little gloves. They're high flex gloves. And they're, they're like stretchy. They're like pantyhose on this side. But on this side, it's like kind of plastic. And these are amazing because I can put my hands in them <laughs> at night and go to bed and not get anything on my sheets. But yet, my hands are not sitting in like a wet glove, like a plastic glove. These have airflow in them and I'm able to, you know, they dry out and the, all the lotions sink in. So I love these. He got, he got some and, and then he got me some and I love them. They're ugly and I can promise you though that when I go to sleep they're on my hands but when I wake up they're not on my hands anymore. They just <laughs> kind of like going to bed with socks on. They come off. Be finding a little pile of socks at the bottom of the bed. So the other thing that I love 
is this, um, it's from Palmer's, and it's the Heel Softener, and, um, it's a cocoa butter formula, and it's a big old tub of it, and I got turned on to this by Flory Sparks. She talked about it in one of her favorite videos, and I'm on, like, my third jar of it, so some nights if I'm not feeling like doing the Aquaphor and the Watkins, and I just want to smell something soup. Now, I love the smell of Watkins. That lemon scent smells great, but I love the smell of this, too. And I love going to sleep smelling this cocoa butter formula. It's just, mm. Like I said, I'm on my third tub of it. And the other thing I talked about earlier is this California Mango Mend. This stuff smells so yummy, and I just love it. I don't know that it does as good... Um, nor nourishing my fingers and my hands and my cuticles as using the aquifer and the J.R. Watkins hand cream but I love this one and this is one that it's kind of stays sticky for a minute so I normally wear my gloves when I wear this one but it smells so good so that is what I have today for my nail maintenance I hope you enjoyed this I hope you maybe got something out of it um and I hadn't been rubbing my hands together, so this is not rubbed in very well yet. But I love, love this combo. It really does make a big difference for me. So that is all I have. If you've got any ideas of your own, that you things that work for you, leave me a comment down below. Let me know the products you use, the routine you like to follow, if it's a daily or nightly thing or weekly I would love to hear it. Um, we all learn and trade secrets and tips and tricks and, you know, and what works for one person might not work for another. So, but I always am willing to try. So, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you soon. Until next time, be good to yourself. Bye.